Hi, good afternoon, Corey Thorne, Psychic Medium Spiritual Healer, coming in to do a channel message for the month of uh, October. Sorry, it is late. This is now October the 9th. And this one is for my Cancer energy. So people that are born in that astrological sign of Cancer, or you have Cancer in your rising or ascending sun. Um, I'm not an astrologer, but the, um, some of the messages kind of go through that channel through me come from the um, come from the astrological sign or the astrology. Sorry, the astrology sign. Please remember this message is not a personal reading. This is a channeled message. This is not to be taken to replace any medical, psychological advice you've been given. And always remember that you have free will. No one can take away your free will. And nobody can tell you exactly how to live your life. You have to use the guidance and the, the trust within your own self to know what's right for you. So, um, Cancer, I'm going... Cancer, I'm going right to, I don't know why my mail just opened up on top of us. Um, I'm going right into the sense of Mother Mary. Um, and I just feel, um, I, just, I just hear that song, Let It Be. Cancer, Let It Be by the Beatles. I John Lennon, John Lennon, Let It Be. That's the song that's, that I just, I just keep hearing. If, if, you, if you're struggling right now, if you're going through a lot of hard times, I just feel you have to just know times are about to change. Things are about to get better for you. Um, there's a shift and a change that's happening. Sorry, my inner, my white, my mail keeps trying to open over my screen. Um, you've been very distracted, very much in a lower vibration is what it feels like to me. Oh my God. Okay. I just got some message in the Scorpio and I'm getting one in here in two and I'm getting subway or like sub sandwiches or somebody who who's passed over and I can smell like the bread and the homemade bread or something or like somebody having like homemade bread sandwiches or so, no, like subs. They look like subs to me eating like subway. And, um, I can smell the bread and it's like kind of had, a Pillsbury, Pillsbury dough by type of body or shape. And I know this is cancer and I don't know. And so this could be someone who was cancer sign or somebody with cancer. And I just, and it's just a sense of somebody who always like that and Pillsbury dough by. So I don't know if that's like the actual Pillsbury dough by like um, croissants or something, or if that's someone who had that shape, but I keep seeing that look. I keep seeing that song, that that little thing, <laughs> that little Pillsbury dough bite, and I keep seeing here and let it be, and then I hear Subway. So there's like this, you've been struggling, there's been some heavy grief, there's been some real challenges, um, lots of those things happening that's been happening around. You need to know, you really need to know that there's some really caring, loving people on the other side that are trying to nurture you. And the let it be is for everybody, sorry, but the but this is, and it could be also be for this person who's channeling through, because this person who's channeling through is coming with a sense that they gathered for food, they love food, and if you're in Canada, it is Thanksgiving coming up. So I, it could be the sense of that they, they're still gonna be here for Thanksgiving dinner, like still have this, still have the turkey or still have whatever, or um, something like that. I just feel like they love food. They, their favorite was Subway or something, but they're saying, it's time, for, it's time for you now. You need to be able to make yourself a priority, be more focused on you. And I'm picking up the name John. I have the name John. Um, I'm picking up the name John and I'm picking up the name Geraldine or Gerald, Gerald. 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 I'm picking up the name John and I have the name Gerald. So I have two people and I don't know if that's the two people that are involved or is that if that's more family members or brothers or something. Um, but I have Gerald and John and um, and the sense of like I can see red roses and so something about a service, a funeral or something that's happening um, or that it happened and a gathering. Some sort of there's a gathering. There's some sort of gathering of people coming up and I just see food and I see all kinds of food happening. So whoever you are, I'm, this message is, I guess, pretty specific. Um, 
you're loved. You're, you're being surrounded. It's like, just know they are here. They really need you to know they're here. <sighs> okay. So got to move them aside. I have to get back into the, the cancer energy. So the cancer energy that's coming up is that it is really time for you to really like the snake shedding that old skin. It's time to move on is what I'm getting cancer and it's time to move on. Stop telling the same stories of victimhood of poor me or anything like that that's happening. It's not you, but it's just what we feel when we're really sad and we're really lonely and we're really tired and we're really beat down. But it's like, you know, that's not you. And, but you're really caught in some old stories. And every time you hear people, a certain person or certain things, you go right to the old stories. You go to what you've convinced yourself to be real. You know, it's not real, but you just, you're just afraid to move out of there. Know that there is a big change happening in your lives in the way of shedding your own skin so that you can finally awaken and breathe again. It's like it has been a, either 16 months or six months is what I'm getting. You've either been 16 months or you have been six months that you've been struggling through, trying to catch your breath, over worrying, over stressed, and, um, and you got the mercy card and the prayer. That's what I pulled. And both are, both are really linking into that same thing. You have to have the faith, faith to believe, and this is during virtue, Mother Mary cards, um, that transformation is about to happen, that you have the opportunity to live a life full of love and light and happiness. You have to make a choice here. You have to make a choice. And I feel like the choice is, do I stay in my own misery or do I move out of that? Do I, do I finally decide, okay, I'm done with the old energy. I'm done being afraid. I'm done being fearful. I'm okay. I'm okay. And where I am is okay. And I'm okay to be where I am. I'm a good person. I know what I'm doing and things are going to be okay. And so there's people kind of coming, flooding back into your life. Like you, you're, you're finally stepping forward or you're trying, you might have some stories to stay. You might have some stories to stay, say, or somebody might have some stories to you. But see, life force energy. And this is Sonia Croquet's deck of cards. But I'm getting life force, force energy, epiphanies. And it's like the lotus flower. It's just open up. You're opening up that love. I just have love, higher self, higher consciousness. There's a sense of awareness that's happening for you, Cancer, right now. And that's like whatever you're dreaming of, it's time to take a step forward time to start moving forward but it's also time to do that deep-seated healing that you keep thinking that you've done that you have not done which is in the sacral solar in the sacral area i feel like there's still some sacral energy healing that needs to be done that takes you often into the place of victim or um or back into um the traumas the traumas and the drama of the past which is not real in your life now. I want you to know that that is not the essence of who you are today. Who you are today is this beautiful person that you are rising into. Um, somebody has somebody returning home or somebody moving back. Somebody, I don't know if this is your child or your grandchildren or something. Somebody's moving back or coming back. And I feel like there's like a return of family coming in closer. If you have a dog, I hope you do, hope your dog don't bark at everything goes down the road like mine. <laughs> um, but I feel as if there's somebody moving back or coming back closer to you, there's a return of that, um, which actually makes you very, very happy, but you're a little bit scared. There's a closed minded here. And then this restriction of the minds is when we get stuck in our heads, we keep telling the old stories of the past and what people are like. Well, you don't know what people are like from a year ago, two years ago, because they're not the same people they were even then. And you don't know what people are going through, but people also don't know what you're going through. Reach out, reach out to each other. And um, this is the, this is your counsel on the other side. This is the community. Stop saying you're alone. If you're someone who really thinks I'm left all alone, I've lost everybody. Uh, no, you didn't. And I feel as if this is a dad coming in. He's saying, um, he's saying, you, you know, we're all still here. You know, we're all still here. You forget to ask us and you forget to speak to us. Don't, don't be, don't be forgetting to speak to us is what I'm getting. Don't be forgetting to speak to us. Don't be forgetting that we're here for you and that we love you very, very much. That's a dad energy. That's a dad energy for you. Um, 
I also have the sense of Archangel Michael coming in very strong and that you have to cut the cords. Time to cut the cords. And I mean fully cut the cords to your past. And I don't mean cut cords to every person that was ever in your past. I mean cut your cords. Cut the ones that ties you to the relationships that you have with yourself over the years. Um, because it's like you've caused yourself a lot of stress. And um, there's going to just be a lot of things happening all at once for you, Cancer. A lot of changes. You're moving back or somebody's moving back. You're either going back. But I think it's a lot to do. Um, you also have the sense of here's the sixth of summer. As we're coming only into winter, I feel as if there's a lot of... I. Um, You've, you've had enough downtime. Now you're not going to be in isolation. You're going to be one of those people that's going through winter out and exposed, <laughs> out and exposed. By summer, you're going to be thinking, holy crap, where was I then? What was I thinking? And I see a whole relationship forming into a beautiful life. Um, but it's really time. And what comes up with the six of summer for me is that it's time to look at life events differently. Because when we're angry and we're depressed and we're down and we're and we're in all of that lower energy, we look at all the life events in the energy that we're in. Now that you're rising up into a new energy, a different energy, and it's higher, I want you to look back at life events and notice how you have a different perspective, a different view, and that you're more willing to let things go than what you were before. But that could also mean the sense of that brings back some people into your life that you weren't expecting to come back into your life, but you need in their life or you, you need each other. So there is a return coming back in. Um, unexpected events happening, lots of unexpected events. Be prepared for anything, but I also feel the sense that wouldn't be surprised to see even uh, the return of like love into the lives of those that those around you or yourself, like just a return to love is what's coming up. Let things be, stop trying to overthink it, stop trying to over plan it, stop trying to plan life and trying to force people to be what, what you think they should be. Stop trying to plan and trying to see ahead. Get out of there, get into the very present moment, stay present, let life be, let people be who they are and watch and see the magic that's happening for you. Many things are changing. Much love to you all and have the wonderful rest of October. And uh, I'll see you all in November. Bye-bye.